Welcome back to another episode of Bronx and Donks. And today, we're herding some beef. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. It's starting to come down now, boys. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. On today's video, we're herding the cattle over 30 miles to Summer Range. It'll take us two days to reach our destination. The first day, we'll mostly be on the oil road, and the second day, we'll be heading up the canyon to the top of the mountain. We started gathering the cattle in a few different fields near town. We planned on meeting up with all the cows in a corral about a mile away from the furthest field. That's no bueno. We need a gate. Walking down the road like this can get a little boring sometimes, so it's the perfect opportunity to practice my roping. I threw a couple backhand loops and let the calves walk through it. After meeting at the corral, it was time to get the cattle ready to go. Some of our new cows needed tags, and several calves needed a brand. Open says me. Oh, I almost have it. One more step, Kathy. Come on, one more step. Watch out, boys! It's hot! Oh! Left. Left. Ow. 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 Mother trucker, dude! That hurt like a butt cheek on a stick. Howdy, Parker. Say like and subscribe. No. We'll kick that like, like button. All right, we're getting ready to leave the corral here. You can see in the background that there's a mountain. Well, we're heading up on that mountain range, but we gotta head clear that way before we can get up on it. So we're gonna go down, back to the road, clear around and up a canyon up on that side of the hill. So I'm gonna hop on old Redemption here. Let's go herd some beef. It was finally time to leave town. Our next stop would be 11 miles up the road at the base of the mountain. <laughs> Monster shed. Oh, okay. Right next to the American flag. Uh. Whew. It's not every day you find a monster shed like this. On the right side of this canyon up here, that's where we're heading. We still got a couple more miles to go today, but we're getting close. It didn't take long to run into trouble. We had a few cows and calves jump the fence, and they mixed in with the neighbor's herd.
I didn't rope the calf because it jumped back through the fence onto the road. Now, I had to go find the others. I'm pretty sure we had two cows jump over. I've only got one back so far. Hey! The other three cows ended up jumping over as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Backhand. Should I rope Red Dead? Okay, I'm going to try it again. Backhand over the head on a little calf. Let him run through your loop. Oh, here we go. <laughs> You've heard of foot pressure, how about hat pressure? <laughs> We're getting real close. It's up this canyon on the right right here. We probably have a mile and a half left to go. We're surely making our way. Matt's teaching my mule how to rain with just a hat. <laughs> Finally, we'd made it to the corral, and it was time to stop for the day, but only us. The cows are going to keep going tonight, and if everything goes to plan, we should find the cows about seven miles up the road tomorrow morning. The next morning, we started up the road to see how far the cows had made it. This canyon right here is the canyon we're supposed to go up. When we turn the cows loose last night, they usually run up this road past the canyon. So we're going to drive up this road, make sure nothing's up this way. Then the second crew will bring up any stragglers behind. We'll meet at this canyon and head straight up. So sounds like a game plan. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. The weather's pretty nice today. A little overcast. It's not too hot up here. Feels good to get up in the mountains. So let's go find them. Come down now, boys! There we go. We got the last beef heading up the right way. Nice work, buddy. Nice work. Now all we had to do was wait for everybody else and pack up our lunch. We got our lunch loaded up in the pannier. Gonna keep it nice and cold. Good old peanut. It took us about a half an hour to leave the truck, so the cattle had a head start on us. All right, we're heading up the canyon. We gave the cows a minute to trail up themselves, and I'm sure they're already halfway up the canyon. We're just gonna catch up to everything. Everybody's already ahead of us. Let's do it. That pack's riding good, though. Oh, yeah. Look at the peanut go. Oh, peanut's a champ. Camp, boys. I'm on the Bronx and Donks saddle today, baby. You can buy them online on bronxanddonks.com. They're the sponsor of today's video. All right, heck yeah, we've made her. <laughs> we got our pack donkey. She just followed us up the trail. Matt, give it a kiss. <laughs> now let's see it from the side. 
<laughs> Let us see it from the side. <laughs> the water hole was a great place to leave the cattle, and we'll end the cattle drive here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want to support the channel, check out bronxandonks.com. You just might find something you like on there. We have tons of hats and saddles for sale. Let us see it from the side. <laughs> 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 <laughs>